at I'm the One Pip Wonder. My name's Jonna, and I do videos about board games that I like, game nights, the whole hobby, the whole board gaming culture, and whatnot. So today we're talking about Christmas gifts. Coming at you right now is a list of some fun stocking stuffers for board gamers. Now typically I don't like to recommend specific gaming titles, but because stocking stuffers are normally, you know, $20 or less and of a small size, I thought it would be fun to throw out some of the smaller board games that we have in our collection that I highly recommend. They're really inexpensive and you know, I would just make sure that your gamer doesn't already have these titles in their collection. If they do, then skip this and, you know, maybe glean from some of the other suggestions. If you'd like to check out any of the items that I talk about in this video, you can find links to them in the description below. This video was not sponsored in any way, it's just there for your shopping convenience. So, what do I have here in my stocking? <gasps> Tossy Mossy. This is a great little card game. It's designed by Elizabeth Hargraves. She has put out a lot of great board games that are nature themed. And this is like a little mini pocket size card game that she um, designed and it's about uh, a little bundle of flowers and, and the meaning of those flowers. So this is just, um, it, it does play four players, but I find that it is terrific two player. I played this with my mom and she really liked it as a matter of fact. Button Shy has a whole series of little card games that are pocket sized like this. They come very well recommended. I've only played a handful of them and this one is my favorite. Okay, what else do we got in here? Ah, Dutch Blitz. This is a classic card game. It plays two to four players. It's very fast paced. This is actually a really popular game in the uh, region where I'm from. I'm from uh, Pennsylvania. So uh, Pennsylvania Dutch, this was very popular um, when I was growing up and it is just still one of my top favorite card games. It runs for $13. So you can find these online. Um, and if you are in the Pennsylvania area, most restaurants will carry this game. This is a fast paced game where you're trying to get rid of your deck of cards the quickest. It's like Spoons and Solitary had a baby and then they named it Dutch Blitz. So it's really great, super fun, awesome stocking stuffer. Make sure your gamer doesn't already have this one though. But even if they do, if it looks like as bad as mine, they may want a new one. Let's see what else I got for Christmas. Fancy dice. Came in this wooden container and it's this like stone mineral. I think it was called fluorite, purple fluorite. So I already suggested this in my first board gaming gift guide for hardcore gamers because you can never have too many dice. And I think stocking stuffer, like this is an obvious no brainer stocking stuffer. Now these dice were super expensive. So you can, you know, invest a lot of money into a nice set of dice and make it like a really big Christmas gift. Or you can spend like $6 and just get a really fun set of dice to stick in the stockings. They range anywhere between, you know, $6 and $100. And like I said, you can never have too many dice. It's kind of like the jewelry of the board gaming world. It really helps you express your own personality. And when someone buys you a set of dice, they are even more special. Okay, so some of the items I don't actually have here to put in my stocking, but another great suggestion would be board gaming bowls. Now these are just bowls that um, kind of snap together and they make little containers that are very easy to transport in your board game, but then you can set up and put little components on the table. It keeps things very neat and tidy. Um, you can spend, you know, I don't know, like $30 on some really fancy leather ones on Etsy, or you can get really affordable ones on Amazon for like $8. They're a really fun board gaming accessory and perfect for a stocking stuffer. All right. I have another game recommendation. Rhino Hero. Rhino Hero is a great kids game. It's by Haba, but it's also just a fun game. It's a dexterity game where you're building an apartment out of cards. It's that basically a house of cards that you're trying to see how high you can build it. And you know, if you make the tower collapse, then 
you will be the loser. But it is super fun. There's a little rhino meeple that you have to move from floor to floor. I can't recommend this game enough. It costs about $15. And I love this as a little filler, as something kind of light and fun to introduce people to. And it fits in a stocking. So yeah, it had to be on this list. All right, so this arguably could be a standalone present under the Christmas tree, but it's kind of fun. I love when stockings have things like kind of popping out, giving you hints of what's inside. So my next recommendation is a player mat. Uh, these are really popular amongst the board gaming community, and you may ask why. Simply put, they help you pick up cards. It makes it a lot easier to play a card game when you have something a little soft between your fingers and the table. So that's why these are really popular. You can get all sorts of beautiful pictures on them. You can get them big enough to cover your whole table, or you can get just like little um, like board game size mats like these. And they can run anywhere between 18 and um, you know, 50, $70, depending on how big you get them. But you can find these at different board gaming websites with all sorts of pictures on. So you can really find something that matches your gamer's personality. And I think it works for a stocking stuffer. You may argue with me, but I would be super excited to see one of these sticking out of my stocking at Christmas. Okay, my next recommendation is actually a card game called Star Realms that the box our box fell apart, so we keep it in a really big box that will not fit in this stocking, but the box it actually comes with is only about this size. It is a tremendous two-player card game. It is a drafting card game, and you, you know, build up your deck of cards and play until you can basically, you want to take the other person's health before they take all your health. That's all you're trying to do. It's space themed. There's different factions. If you collect more and more of the same, you know, colored uh, spaceships, they, they combo up and do really cool things. So it's just a really simple game. I can't tell you how much we've played Star Realms. It's such a great game. And it kind of blows my mind when you think about it. It's $11. $11. It's such an affordable stocking stuffer and it is one that if your board gamer doesn't have Star Realms and they don't really have a lot of deck builders, this would be a great one to just stick in their stocking, see what they think about it. All right, and my next recommendation is just a very practical one, a fun face mask. You can find board gaming themed face mask on Etsy, uh, amongst other websites. If you know that your gamer is a big fan of the Dice Tower or our family plays games and whatnot, you can go to their merch website and you'll find masks that you can buy that are like from those content creators. And that'll just be kind of like a fun surprise and very practical to have on hand for board gaming night. All right, so that is my list of stocking stuffer gift ideas for board gamers or anyone that's interested in getting into the hobby. So I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. If you guys are looking for more meaty gift game ideas for your hardcore gamer, be sure to check out um, part one of the ultimate board gaming gift guide and you'll be able to see a lot of great suggestions for board gaming accessories that hardcore gamers will love. And be sure to look out for my next board gaming gift guide for families. I have a whole lot of suggestions for a great family game that would be really fun to get under your tree this Christmas. So keep your eyes open for that and I'll see you in the next video. suggestions. <clears throat> I can't I talk. <coughs> There's, I think that's a real song. I can't say it right. A neoprene mat. Crackers. Uh, a neoprene mat. A neoprene.